July, right? Fourth of July is right around the corner. Many of us enjoy the fireworks celebration. But did you know there's a science behind all those beautiful explosions? Sarah Neff is here from the Imagination Station with the science behind how exactly those fireworks get their color. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Alrighty, where do we start today? All right, so first we're going to start with safety because that is the most important thing. So go ahead and put your goggles on all there. Right. Safety up. Yes. And go ahead and put on your gloves. And I did bring a fire extinguisher just in case. Okay. But Last think, time you guys brought a fire extinguisher, I got blasted with it. Hopefully. On purpose. It was part of the <laughs> science experiment, I mind you. Alrighty. All what right. is, uh, what's laid out in front of us here? So manufacturers use all kinds of different elements to create the colors we see in fireworks. And each element has its own color, okay. which is pretty cool. So what I did was I brought some components that we are going to burn today. All right. And get some cool firework colors. I like the sound of this. All right. What do you need me to do? Well, in our beaker here, we have methyl alcohol. And the reason that we use methyl alcohol is because it burns with a nearly invisible flame. Ah. So we are going to be able to see the colors of our fireworks really nice and bright. Okay. All right. So I'm going to throw the first one in here. And the first one is strontium. All right. And that is actually what we find in road flares. Okay. So do you so have a guess what color it might be? Red. All right. Because I've see. seen the road flares before. All right, you are right. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to let you put one in. How about if you put in some potassium? All right. And potassium is what we find in bananas. Do you think it's going to be yellow? Um, green. Green? I'm going to say green. Okay, let's see. So that one's not green. It's actually no. a nice kind of like purpley white color. It was, yeah. How about sodium? Uh, okay, next up, sodium. Yep. And this is just regular old table salt. Yeah, I was going to say. Straight out of my kitchen. Straight out of your kitchen. You ready for this one? Yep. That was uh, had a little more orange to it. Yep, very good. Very nice. And let's throw in some lithium. And I'm sure everybody uses this almost every day. It's what I we find in I do? cell phone batteries. Oh, okay. So it's going to have lithium in it. So All let's right. dump some of that in, see how it looks. That oh, I favorite. like that one. We need more lithium. We that do. was really cool. That one's that, my favorite. That was like a, 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 I don't know, a red magenta. Right. Really cool. Very pretty. Okay. So now what I've done is I actually took a little bit of all of those and I combined them. We're going to get the grand finale then, this right? This is almost our grand finale. Okay. This is pretty good. So let's dump Your some turn. of this in. Yes. And we get a nice rainbow effect because each one of our components has its own color. So we can dump some of those in. So yeah. essentially is what you're telling me too, the fireworks that are sent up into the sky and explode are these different elements here. Right, or some variation of Or some of variation them. of them, or yes. a mixture of them, as, right. as you just showed us there. So if I dump a little more of this one in, is there any color in there that we didn't have in one of our other components? Um, I see pretty much the rainbow. I, I, I There was like a teal green. There was a teal green, and that is actually copper. So I've got some copper here, and I'm gonna shoot this in. Ooh. And that's where we get that nice bright green from. And for the really big finale, my favorite part is this guy right here. And these are iron particles. Okay. And I'll give you a hint if you can guess what these will do. Uh, I hope not explode. Check out my goggles. Uh, sparkle. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That, so that's copper. So this is um, iron. Iron. I need yeah. a little more iron in here. I like this. And if we want to get really fancy, I'll put a little bit of iron in with my copper here. Mix these together. And we'll send those in together. I like it. Pretty cool, right? That is very cool. So we made our very own fireworks here. And we're actually going to be doing this at Imagination Station Okay. during the weekend of 4th of July. So uh, visitors can come in and check it out. Fittingly so. Who knew? The science behind fireworks. We figured it out. We solved it right here with the Imagination Station. You guys are going to be busy. You're we continuing are. on with uh, many things this summer. What do you have coming up? Um, we've extended Farm Fest. It was cool. a really big hit, so we're going to have all of those exhibits staying, and you can come check them out. All and right. don't forget that Lucas County residents, 12 and under, are free on Saturdays. Can't beat that. Sarah, appreciate yep. it. Happy Fourth of July to you just a little bit early. Thank you. So we've discovered the science behind.